What's up? I'm wearing a hoodie because it's cold as tits in this house. So a couple of days ago on my Facebook page, I asked you guys to send me topics of things you wanted me to talk about, and this is what you came up with. Can you address breastfeeding in public? I always see articles of people being upset and they want to start petitions and like Facebook pages, like ban the tit or whatever. Can someone explain to me why breastfeeding in public is offensive? Oh, I offended you because I'm trying to keep my baby alive? Fuck you and suck my tits. Like, dude, the baby needs to be fed. What is the alternative? Should we just let it starve and then watch it die in that thing that's strapped to their mother's chest? I was on the subway one time and there was train traffic so we were stuck for like 10-15 minutes and this woman started breastfeeding her baby. And after a minute some old guy was like, D do you have to do that here? She kind of just shrugged him off, but she should have looked at him and been like, Oh, what's up? You're really old. That's awesome. Why don't you just pack it in and die right now? That'd be sick. I've never wanted to shadow kick someone so hard in the fucking face. And he was old. His bones were brittle. I would have broke this whole side. Long story short, here's my opinion. Feed the kids, all right? When did the world become afraid of tits? Talk about Cinnamon Nicole. Who the fuck is Cinnamon Nicole? I'm gonna have to Google it. All right, oh God, these idiots, they just like, they find me, I don't know how. So apparently Cinnamon Nicole is the name of a woman who spent her entire life savings on lottery tickets trying to hit the Powerball. Then when she didn't win, she set up a GoFundMe page and asked people to send her money because now she has none. Then in the description of the GoFundMe page, like in the little fine print, like you know on commercials like the fine print, it's like, oh, try these pills, it's good for your heart, but in the fine print, it's says, oh, may cause diarrhea and your dick may turn inside out. Like in the little fine print she writes, I'm certain that we will be able to pick ourselves up from the trenches of this loss and spend another fortune trying to hit it big again. What? Yeah, nice try, Miss Cinnamon or Mrs. Cinnamon. I don't know if you're married to another person who's named after a spice. How do you even muster up the courage to do something like that? If I bet even $50 on the Giants to cover the spread, I am sweating the entire game. And you're over here just fucking rolling the dice with your whole life savings, and you have way less of a chance of winning than I do. And now you want to do it again? Cinnamon. I don't like where your head's at, I'll be honest, I really don't. Please talk about domestic violence. This is simple. As a man, under no circumstances is it okay to hit a woman. Unless it's Ronda Rousey and she's beating the shit out of you, then you might want to like throw a jab and run the fuck out of there, she will kill you. But seriously, if you hit a woman, you're a bitch. And on the reverse, if you're a woman, there's no reason to hit a man unless you're defending yourself. The problem is some women think, oh, guys aren't supposed to hit me so I could hit them and nothing's gonna happen to me. And an attitude like that is fucking wrong and dangerous because some guys don't care if you hit them they will slap the shit out of you. I'm not saying that's right, I'm just saying that could happen. Why don't we relax with the fighting, all right? It's 2016, let's keep up with the times, all right? Let's pretend to be people's friends in person, get on Twitter, subtweet them, maybe talk shit about them in a group text that they're not in. All right, let's do that instead of hitting each other. And the worst thing ever that kind of ties into this is how girls on social media love to play the I'm a crazy girlfriend card. They'll tweet some shit like, oh, if a guy cheats on me, and it's like a picture of them with a knife. Or they'll tweet something like, when Bay talks to other girls, and then it's a picture of Angelina Jolie polishing a gun. Like, what the fuck? Being one of those crazy girlfriends isn't funny or cool, and I know it's supposed to all be a joke, but the fact that they all get a ton of retweets is gonna tell young girls that get on social media like, oh, this is normal, this is cool. And they know it's gonna happen, the next that their boyfriend in second grade doesn't give him a piece of his fruit roll-up, she's gonna take a pencil and jam it in his jugular and he's gonna bleed out all over the fucking lunch table. Talk about those stupid social media posts, for example, like this to end hunger. Honestly, those are the worst posts ever. When I'm on social media, I'm just trying to entertain myself, you know? I'm not trying to get guilt tripped into liking or sharing something. But it always happens, I'll be on Twitter or Facebook, just scrolling, having a good time, and all of a sudden, boom, there it is. It's a picture of like a hungry baby and he's got tears in his eyes, he's looking right in the camera like I'm the one that didn't fucking feed him and the caption is like and share to end hunger but that's not the problem the problem is is that they always give you an ultimatum the caption says like and share to end hunger ignore and keep scrolling if you don't want to end hunger and forget about it at that point I'm just having a heated argument with myself I'm like well I don't want to share this but I don't want people to be hungry. I don't want to not end hunger. Like, what do I do? And I always just keep scrolling and ignore it because I know it's dumb, but for like a second, like an hour later, for a split second, I feel responsible for hunger. And all I wanted to do was read some funny tweets and watch a video of a dog in a pool, but now here we are. Some of the captions don't even make sense. It's like, like and share if you're against domestic abuse, ignore and keep scrolling if you hate Asians. I'm like, what the heck? How do those go together? Talk about women who are threatened by their boyfriend slash husband's deceased wife. What does that mean? Your boyfriend slash husband's deceased wife? 
Is threatening you? Is she haunting you? Is she a ghost? What the fuck's going on? Alright, before these questions get even more strange, I'm getting the hell out of here. Don't forget to subscribe to my podcast. It's on SoundCloud. It's called The Basement Yard. Go search it, and I will see you guys next Tuesday. Bow.